The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the curable waters of Sagart, Western Armenia, Aray Vazian reaffirms Armenia's intention to deepen relations with United Arab Emirates. Ninth Black Modular City was built for Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh, Russian Defense Ministry. Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan presents Azerbaijan's delay of the return of prisoners of war at UN Human Rights Council. The United States, the European Union, and their Arab allies should sanction Turkey. Michael Rubin. Important antiquities were discovered during the renovation of the Armenian Garden in Jerusalem. The marble bulls had to be presented in Garni on March 21. The water flowing in the village of Tosuntarla in Sagart province, western Armenia, cures various diseases for centuries, especially rheumatism. It is useful against various types of pain in the body. The villagers say that many people used to come here for treatment in the past and suggest turning that place into a tourist destination. One of the most important features of the mineral water is that it is cold in summer and warm in winter. The water is curable and the mud around the water is very good for relieving various pains. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia, Aray Vazian, had a meeting in the United Arab Emirates with Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Abdullah bin Zayed Al Nahyan. Avazian reaffirmed Armenia's intention to further deepen relations with the United Arab Emirates as a link between Armenia and the Gulf's Arab states for cooperation. Ministers Avazian and Al Nahyan comprehensively touched upon a broad range of items on the bilateral agenda. Preserving the dynamics of political dialogue, including through consultations, was highlighted. As promising directions for commercial cooperation, the sites pointed out IT, agriculture, food security, renewable energy and tourism. The ministers attached importance to the role of the Armenian community of the United Arab Emirates in strengthening the Armenia-United Arab Emirates relations, which are based on mutual trust. The meeting focused on regional security and stability as well. Specialists of the Russian Defense Ministry built the ninth black modular city in Artsakh. It is located in Askeran and is designed for 60 Russian peacekeepers. The Russian Defense Ministry reports, according to the ministry, these modular villages are built to improve the conditions for the Russian peacekeepers. All the required conditions have been created in the modular villages. In December 2020, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu said at an expanded meeting of the Defense Ministry Board that 32 modern modular military settlements will be built for Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh by April 2021. As a result, the peacekeepers will be provided with comfortable conditions of service and accommodation. Ombudsman Arman Tatoyan presents Azerbaijan's delay of the return of prisoners of war at UN Human Rights Council. During the 46th session of the UN Human Rights Council on March 8, 2021, the video message of the Republic of Armenia Human Rights Defender was published and broadcasted in a special format. Only national human rights institutions with an international A status have such an opportunity. Prior to the video message, a more extensive written report of the human rights defender Arman Tatoyan was submitted to the Council. Both in the video message and in the written report refer to the atrocities during the 2020 September-November war, setting forth the Azerbaijani armed forces torture and ill treatment of Armenian servicemen and civilians. In addition, references are made to Azeri servicemen's use of the same words and atrocities in videos depicting such tortures and ill treatment as those made in official Azeri speeches. Ethnically motivated crimes against Armenians are encouraged by the Azerbaijani authorities and that fact has been confirmed by ECHR judgments. This particular session was dedicated to the discussion with the UN Special Reporter on Torture. The United States, the European Union and their Arab allies must impose sanctions on Turkey until it ends occupation of Cyprus, Michael Rubin writes in his article in National Interest. He said that it is time for serious sanctions on Turkey rather than slowly ratchet sanctions in a way that allows Ankara to adjust and bypass them, the goal should be to overwhelm Turkey and its already foundering economy. Head of the Real Estate Department of the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Prized Baret Yeretsyan, announced that important antiquities were discovered during the renovation of the Armenian Garden in Jerusalem, which need to be studied in detail. Regionmonitor.com writes about this. One of the valuable finds is the Big Khachkar, which dates back to the 12th century or earlier. It is a typical Armenian cross with the inscription Lord Jesus Remember. Below is an Armenian flowering cross as well as grape signs. 
A mosaic was also found, judging by the style, probably from the Byzantine period. The mosaics are located in the remains of buildings, the date of which is not yet clear. Copper coins from the Byzantine and Mamluk periods were also found. Thus, the Armenian Patriarchate of Jerusalem shows its early Armenian presence and pilgrimage to Jerusalem. One of the exceptional artifacts presented in the collections of the Protection Service State Nonprofit Organization is the Bull's Head, which was part of the marble statue of the god Mihir discovered many years ago on the steep slope of Garni. According to GNCO, the event initiated by the Aryans mission Arotineri Ucht will be held at the Garni Museum of History and Culture at 1 p.m. on March 21. Then with the opening of the exhibition, security service will present the bull's head that once decorated the temple. Now we present you Karos Hajj by Sahmos Choir. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.